Herman Cain visits Red Eye to talk about his presidential campaign. That almost rhymed. I will ask him questions pertaining to that topic, and I hope he likes me. He came out of nowhere like a comet made of delicious pizza. My next guest won the Florida straw poll last month, and he's surging in several polls out this week in the race for the Republican nominee for president. We are pleased to have 2012 presidential hopeful, a captain of industry, and man of the moment, Mr. Herman Cain. So how did we get you on the show? <laughs> well, you had a very aggressive producer <laughs> yes. by the name of Tara. Mm -hmm. She body slammed me to the floor threatened my life <laughs> yes. and said, you will be on this show or you won't be a candidate very long. It's true. Now, I'm a man that normally doesn't respond to threats, <laughs> but this time I figured I would give in. Yeah, she could be pretty, pretty aggressive. She was pretty convincing. Yeah. She, she earned her raise. We're not giving her a raise. But anyway, <laughs> so there's this new CBS poll. Yes. As you tied with Mitt Romney at 70 percent, Two weeks ago, you were at 5%. Yes. So is the train, is the cane train gone insane? What's happening here? That's a good way to put it. Yeah. The cane train is going insane. <laughs> yes. Because here's the thing. Once people get on the cane train, yeah. they don't get off. That's true. And I love George Will's statement. Mm -hmm. When I won that Florida straw poll, mm -hmm. he said, when Herman Cain won that Florida straw poll against conventional wisdom, liberals' brains exploded. Yeah, that's true. And you, they did. You, it, was like, it was like microwave popcorn, yeah. one every two minutes. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And so what has happened is when people get on that train, they know that I have substance because I present solutions. I put, mm -hmm. present answers. That's what's appealing to people. Yeah. Now, while you're going up, Perry's going down. What's yes. happening to Perry? Well, I think it's a number of things. First mm -hmm. of all, many of the conservative base, many people in the conservative base, are discovering where he stands on some of these issues and they don't like it. Yeah. Secondly, the debates, which we've done about five of them now, you can't take those for granted. Right. You have that one shot on that debate to leave a positive impression. Yeah. And I happen to think, with all due respect, that Governor Perry may have underestimated the impact of those debates. But I happen to think that the biggest thing from a substance standpoint was at the last debate when Brett Baer asked him point blank, well, you talk a lot about the jobs in Texas. What's your jobs plan for the rest of the country? Mm -hmm. He didn't have one. Right. And by then, you should have had something to put on the table. As you know, I have been talking about 999. Yep. And it's resonating with the American people, and that makes us excited. See, I thought that was a call plan. Yep. And I actually signed up for it. And uh, I got, I think, 90 free minutes. Uh, I really appreciate that. You know, okay, it seems like you're having fun, right? Yes, I am. So this is for real. Did you expect to go this far? Yes, I expected to go this far. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect us to get this boost yeah. this early, to be perfectly honest with you, because all along, our strategy had been a slow build, mm -hmm. you know, get people committed and supportive and just gradually build, because we don't have the money to spend like some of the other candidates, yeah. so we weren't going to pretend. As long as we would continue to move or hold our place in the polls, we were happy. Mm -hmm. But as a result, as you know, politics can be fickle. Yeah. And as a result of my form performance in the straw poll, as a result of how some of the other candidates perform in the debates, well, a lot of people are taking a look at the long shot, and they're saying, maybe that long shot's not such a long shot anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're seeing. I got to ask you, are you sad Christy isn't entering? I'm not sad that Christy <laughs> isn't entering, primarily for Christy. Yeah. The reason being, and I have said this in a couple of reports, you can't do this because of the media hype. Yeah. And the media was trying to suck him into this campaign. Mm -hmm. I don't know the extent to which Governor Perry got sucked in because of the media hype, but you see, it's a different ball game once you become a yeah. candidate. Will you pick him as your VP, Christy? Uh, probably not, no. <laughs> because he wants to finish out his term as governor. Yeah. Not because I don't think he's a good guy, Okay, but I because I've got a few other people on my short list. I admire how uh, really gentlemanly, are, uh, gentlemanly you are towards some of your critics. Uh, Janine Garofalo said some awful things about you, basically yep. saying that you're a front to cover up for Tea Party racism. Then there was D.L. Hughley, who I don't know if you followed what he did on Twitter. He's no. a, He's an African-American com comedian who said you could model for a pancake box. This is a black comedian. Does he not realize you could probably kick his butt? He doesn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I might be older than him, yeah. but I still got some muscles left. Yeah. See, here's what liberals do. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. 
when they have no record to stand on, and I'm talking about President Obama's record, yeah. they try to defend failed policies with name calling. Mm -hmm. When Janine Garofalo said, well, obviously somebody is paying Herman Cain to run for the Republican nomination. My response was, Ms. Garofalo, if you would send me that person's phone number, they're behind in their payments. <laughs> I would love for somebody to be paying me. Thank you. I want my money. Yeah. But that's all they have is name calling. Yeah. And I've been called names before because I'm a conservative, right. because I'm running as a Republican. And in the words of my grandfather, who didn't have a lot of education, I does not care. <laughs> now, I, I read something. Is it true that you could technically are a rocket scientist? I worked on rocket ballistics early in my career as a mathematician. So, yes, some people call me a rocket scientist because as a ballistics analyst, my job was to figure out how do you properly launch a rocket from a ship mm -hmm. or a, from an aircraft and properly hit the target. That's called ballistics. So that's what I did. That's all you really need to know when dealing with Iran. That's right. <laughs> Where to aim? Where to aim the, where to aim the rocket? <laughs> yeah. And as a matter of fact, as you mentioned that, that's part of my strategy for how we contain Iran. Yeah. We have a capability called ballistic missile detection capability on a, on a, on a series of Aegis warships. Mm -hmm. We can upgrade that such that we will have the most sophisticated technology in the world to be able to position those ships in the right parts of the world and, quite frankly, dare Iran to fire at us or Israel. Mm -hmm. We will have the capability to knock it out before it gets to where it's going, and we will have the ability to immediately retaliate. Mm -hmm. Deterrence, Ronald Reagan said it best, peace through strength. My philosophy is gonna be peace through strength and clarity. I wanna make it clear to them what will happen on the part of the United States if they attack one of our friends or if they attack the United States of America. I got w time for one last question. Your book is coming out. It's top 10 Amazon. Are you going to go on a book tour during this campaign? It started today. Mm -hmm. In fact, we leave here to go to Orlando tomorrow. The book tour started today. It is on Amazon.com. And we came up with a very creative name. Yes. This is Herman Cain. I thought you took a long time to come up with that. <laughs> you, at least you didn't do a pun like Raising Cain no. or Candy Cain. No, no. You did This is Herman Cain. Right. I like that. Uh, best thanks, of luck. Great. Thank Ray, you. Thanks for coming by on short notice. My pleasure. All right. to do, it. do you have a comment?